Hello, and welcome back to Here We Tow. So it's been almost one year to the day since we picked up our Adria Adora Isonzo. So what we're going to do is go through what we've loved, what we've not quite loved, and how our first year of ownership has been. Has it lived up to our expectations, or are we going to give up caravanning altogether? Stay with us to find out. And watch us after this. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. So, as you know, we bought our Adria one year ago after a lot of hunting for the perfect caravan. So, did we find the perfect one for us? I think a lot of you already know the answer to that, but what we're going to do today is have a look at the things we've really liked about the Adria and the things we've not been too keen on and one of the big things that we have changed. So if you're interested in buying an Adria, this may well be useful for you because it tells you what it really is like to own one. So first of all, let's start on the outside, then we'll bob inside and then we'll just have a bit of a summary to answer some of those questions you might have. So what have Jules and I really loved? about the outside of the Adria. Well, I'll start with mine and then we'll catch up with Jules. What I have really loved about the outside is the actual look of this caravan. Yes, it's eight feet wide and yes, it's incredibly long. What I like is the great silver front and the silver sides and the huge sweeping window. This caravan really does attract attention and I'm quite happy to admit that I love that. When we arrive on site, people look at this van. It looks different to so many others that are already on the site. So the outside of this caravan for me has been an absolute winner. I don't think there could be much change to the outside to make me like it anymore. Maybe on the back end, something a little bit more jazzy on there perhaps, but otherwise it's an absolute winner. So that's my first thing that I really like. Let's have a look at the second thing that I really like. The second thing I really love about the Adria is the fact it's on the single axle. Despite its huge length at 8.24 metres, it's only on a single axle. And the reason I particularly like this is one, when it comes to putting the security device on, it's easy to line up just that one Alco wheel lock and not two. Secondly, levelling when we arrive at sites, it's a lot easier to get that one wheel up onto a ramp as opposed to two on a twin axle. Thirdly, I do find it tows very well on that single axle. I know many people prefer the stability of a twin, especially on a van this size, but that's not something I found having towed both. And at least when you unhitch wherever you arrive at, it's a lot easier to manoeuvre a single axle than a twin. So all around, that single axle is another winner for me. I think now we'll head over to Jules and see what he really likes. So back to me. What do I like and don't like about the Adria? What I love, what I absolutely love, is my barbecue point. My barbecue point down here, because obviously I'm always caddacking and I love cooking. Also, the huge front locker, where we can get our 50 litre water hog in there. Loads of space for everything else. So that is a massive plus. The only thing that is a niggle that I'm not overly keen on is how close the windows are together. There seems to be a lot of bits that just drop into there and it takes a long time to clean. So that would be the only niggle for me, but it's a byproduct of having such lovely windows. Large windows, but close together. So that's what I love and that's what I'm not so keen on with the Adria. Thanks for that, Jules. So for me, what don't I like about the outside? To be honest, I can't say there is anything that I don't like about the outside. I haven't experienced any problem with anything on the exterior of the caravan. So I'm not going to go and pick something just to be nitpicky. So no, it's a big thumbs up on the outside. I think now we'll head in and have a look at some other bits. So let's start with the lounge. Obviously it's an eight foot caravan, which is what we wanted. And that has been a very good choice for us. We've loved the eight feet size. 
The lounge is very usable. We've had friends here, there's plenty of seating. The one thing is the flap table. We use this a lot, although it's not easy to eat a meal on. You do have to get the full table out. I can see the benefit of a chest here with the slide out table. So in retrospect, I think maybe an added option of that on the Adrias would be a consideration because to be fair, that's something I probably would be happy to spend a few hundred pounds on to add the front chest and locker as opposed to other manufacturers that charge you that amount to actually take it out and put the cushions in. So other than that, the lounge has been brilliant. There's um, a plug socket there, which we've always got our phone chargers in there. It's really well lit. It's extremely comfy. We've had no problems at all with our foam cushions. And as you know, we use our Adria a lot. So no sagging or faults in the lounge area. I think we will head next to the kitchen and have a quick look there. So the kitchen. As you know, we do spend a lot of our time away in the Adria. So the kitchen is important. I know the joke is I don't cook, but I do use this kitchen every day. There are some massive pros here and there's just one con. So let's go through those. The massive pro is all the drawer space and the cupboards. I'm not kidding. These drawers are amazing. They're extremely deep. You can get all your cutlery into here. There's then a second drawer where again, you can get loads of stuff. Up here, I keep all the crockery and then we've got the microwave. And underneath there's two more cupboards which are absolutely filled with tins and breakfast cereals. The oven and grill work really well and the pull out tin rack is fantastic. The sink is huge, it's great for washing up. I'll admit, I don't use the hobs. I haven't used them since we actually got the Adria, but they do work. Down on the end here, there's plenty of room for our kettle and the coffee maker. There's only one plug socket, although I think you can probably get a dealer to put in a second, but that's not been an issue for us. So what is the only drawback in this kitchen space? I would personally probably like a little bit extra worktop space because as you can see, this is how we use our kitchen. So if I wanted to prepare something, I am a little bit limited. So a flap on the end there would be a great addition. And that's the only recommendation. The other thing that I really like about the kitchen is still the 140 litre fridge and freezer. This thing is absolutely unbelievable. We're away a lot. We always go and buy a whole week shopping and it all fits in here. This is probably the best thing about this caravan. So in terms of the kitchen, that really does summarise it. Apart from maybe just some extra space, there's nothing I would change in the Adria kitchen. We've had a look at that. Let's venture a bit further back and see what we make about the bedroom. And this is where we've had our only real problem. I'll see you back there. So how have we got on with the bedroom? As I say, this is the place we found our only problem. And I'll say from the start, it's not the layout, it's not the size of the bed. This six foot five long bed has been absolutely fantastic. And moving around it has not been a problem at all for myself or Jules. The two windows on either side are great as well for letting light in. So overall, the bedroom experience is absolutely perfect. The mattress is what let us down. Within weeks, the foam mattress unfortunately began to sag on Jules's side. So we did invest in a duvalet mattress and we swapped the foam for a duvalet sprung mattress. And since then, well, that problem has been remedied. So this layout, with the caravan being eight feet wide, we don't have to retract the bed. It stays in this position and you can still get round it quite easily. So overall, the bedroom is still a winner for us. I think we'll just finish off in the bathroom and then we'll have a summary of how we've really got on. We've really been pleased with the bathroom. The toilet has been easy to use. There's no intrusion around it. The sink, because the tap does move, you can get your head in there to shave or wash your face. There's a huge mirror, it's well lit. And what I really like is on each side there are these small cupboards. So I've got all my toiletries on here and Jules has got all his there. So there's no cross contamination. Underneath there's loads of cupboard space as well for loo rolls and further toiletries. The shower, we do use it. I use that quite regularly. The towels, as you can see, 
There's a towel rail, which is where I hang mine to dry. And Jules's goes at the back there. Because there's part of the wet central heating in here, the radiator, the towels dry really quickly, even in winter months because of that. At the moment, I always keep our laundry bag in the shower. Obviously, if I'm using the shower, I'll take it out, but that's where I keep it. So, as bathrooms go, it is usable and it's practical. And that's the main thing. So, if you ask me what I didn't like about the bathroom, The only thing was there was nowhere to put the toothbrushes. So I bought a little toothbrush holder that suckers onto the mirror. So maybe a toothbrush holder would have been nice. So that's it. Let's bob back outside and Jules and I will run through all the pros and cons that we found during our ownership. I'll see you outside. So we've had a look around and we've said what we like and what we'd like to change if we could. One thing I think we need to say is that if you're going to purchase an Adria, it's very important to take on board that you are probably going to put on a lot of weight and make a lot of new friends because that has been a consequence of our purchase. Um, if you look back a year, I think we've certainly put on a few pounds. I don't know, we've definitely gained some really good friends. Joking aside though, in the year we've had the Adria, we have been genuinely impressed and delighted that we have had no faults and the build quality is fantastic. It's been second to none. Yeah, we have had opportunity to look at other caravans when we've done reviews and it's brought home how well made our caravan is. And I know people will have problems with Adrias, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that doesn't happen. But for us in this one year, and we have used this caravan, we have been all over with this van and we are this year and touch wood we've not had a fault uh, we've had it serviced its first service uh, it was 266 pounds is what we paid for our service um, and again there was no damp and everything was fine so we were really pleased about that weren't we absolutely you're always a little bit apprehensive mm. especially when that report comes back um, you never know what you're going to find you never know what's going to be on it but we were semi-confident but it's always nice to get it back and to show that there's nothing, uh, yeah. no damp, very low reading. So yeah, big, yeah. big thumbs up Massive for thumbs that up. one. So let's talk about some of the things you may want to know now we've had it a year. So eight feet wide, was eight feet a good choice? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, it's big. Um, and when you tow, you will notice the difference with an eight foot caravan. We do plan our routes. Um, I generally stick to motorways, A roads, and I make sure that the entrance into a site is going to be reasonably easy for me to access because they are a lot bigger and if you meet something coming the other way it can be a bit cheeky. It's extremely long is the Adria but it does tow very well. It hasn't got ATC and we've never had any trouble um, so that isn't even something I would sort of consider as a, some, a must-have that I would need. But we always look at loading it well and yeah. we always look at you know keeping Nose to the weight. speed limits. Yeah. It's important to say, Massive. yeah, those, those limits are there for a reason. It's for, for your safety and everyone else's. It's meant to have a 100 kilo nose weight as this caravan, and that's bang on what it runs at. Um, and inside, we do empty things out. We don't tow with all those clothes in the wardrobe. The crockery isn't in the cupboard. Um, we remove just about everything. The only thing that will stay in here the is the awning, the television, and we have, which we take off, we don't leave it on the stand, it gets wrapped up. And in the front, we've got one gas bottle, that's safe fill that we use. And we have the water containers, uh, the water Empty, hog yeah. and the waste hog. And other than that, we take everything out. The table comes out with us, the barbecue comes out with us. All, goes in All the, the clothes, it goes in the car. Um, you've got to consider that payload. So yeah, so towing, in terms of that respect, it tows, it does tow brilliantly. I always feel safe when I tow the Adria. I don't worry about it. Um, running costs, obviously we've talked about the cost of the service. Our insurance, that's due for renewal. Um, again, it has, it's gone up a little bit this year, but I've gone with a different company. I have gone with Caravan Guard this year. Um, I'm happy with the level of cover we've got. Because this caravan 
when we bought it, these were £22,500. This year, 2019, they're £23,500. Um, because they're not as expensive as some of the others, insurance companies don't have a stipulation, or some don't, about trackers and alarms. Because once you start paying more for a van, you're going to need more security. We secure our caravan very well. Um, if this went, we'd be absolutely gutted. But we've got the Hitch and the Alco. Um, and they're, they're pretty good devices, aren't they? We've been really impressed with the Alco uh, wheel lock. That's, that's been, uh, well, quite easy to fit for, for you. You do that, don't you? Especially on the single axle. It's so yeah. easy to line up. Yeah, it makes it a lot easier. Um, so, yeah, insurance-wise, we've not had any problems getting insured. When the caravan is in storage, we use Kosoa Gold, don't we? We've got that. Um, so we make sure it is a secure yard. Again, that's a personal choice altogether where you choose to store your caravan. Um, I don't know what other costs have we... I think that probably covers a lot of it, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So what about the holidays we've had? Well, as you know, we're away a lot. This year is, is our year, still we've decided. Away. We are still away. We're going away again in a couple of days. We're heading down to Devon. So when you see this, we probably will be in Devon. Um, and then we've got a lot booked in. One thing we're looking at for the summer is going into Europe. And we're quite excited about that. Um, I've got complete faith in this caravan to tow it around Europe. Uh, wouldn't even worry about the size of it or, or how it tows in Europe, anything like that. We're just going to get on the boat and go for it. So are we pleased? that we bought an Adria. Well, yeah, we're really pleased. We're, we're absolutely made up. We've absolutely loved it. Our first year of caravanning has, has been brilliant. I've never had so much fun. And this year I've got so much booked for us, not that Jules knows what we're doing, but I've got so much booked that I just cannot wait. Not that I want to wish the year away. Um, what I would say is if you are in the sort of position now where you're looking to buy a caravan or change your caravan, we put a lot of time into going round dealerships, didn't we? And looking at layouts. Months. With months, months, we did. And Manufacturers, I... layouts, making sure it was the best for us. Yeah. Making sure that it worked for us. Um, and yeah, we, we spent a lot of time going in and out of all the different makes, models and mm. everything all over the place. And I'm really glad we did because we found this layout has worked for us. Um, and we looked at different ones to start with, didn't we? And I'm just really pleased that we chose this one. So don't rush into anything. Just stop and think. And if, if you go to a show and they're offering you the best deal in the world, that deal will be there another day. So don't be rushed into anything. Come away and then think, is it right for us? Because I think if you buy the wrong one, you, you will live to regret that decision. It's a big investment. Um, it's a lot it's of an... money. And you, it's like driving a car off a forecourt you're never going to get back what you think you should get back. No. So always yeah. have a good look, you know, sit in it, lie in it, make sure it works for you practically as well as how good it looks, shiny mm. new. So that's uh, the advice that we can give really. Yeah. So if you are looking at long-term touring or spending a lot of time in your caravan, then an eight foot works very well. This Adria, it's fantastic for that. I mean, we couldn't really spend a great deal more time in it if we tried. Um, and as I say, nothing has failed us, which that's given us a lot of confidence in the brand. Um, again, they're not for everyone. I totally get that. But we have really enjoyed our year's ownership experience. It's been completely positive. Um, so I think we will maybe wrap up there instead of... And I'm just going to quickly add, we are currently filming this at Longleat caravan and motorhome club site so yes. they are sea lions sea lions seals yeah lions roaring yeah birds so yeah apologies if they've interrupted the audio at all yes but just to explain that we're not actually in a menagerie or a, a zoo we no are we next are next to a safari yeah. park we so, are <laughs> yeah we are next to Longleat. so those are real animals <laughs> um so yeah that i think that summarizes it and Thank you for everyone that's joined us for this first year. It has been so much fun. We do appreciate you uh, joining us for it. Absolutely. Uh, and we'll hopefully bring you a load more stuff as the year goes on. As always, if you've got any questions, queries, or want to drop us a line, 
please do drop them in the comments below we'll yep. be glad to go through those we look at every single one mm. and we'll get back to you uh, if you want in a question answered so absolutely please feel free to hit the like button if you uh, if you like what we do if you like this video subscribe if you haven't already and hopefully with all that said we'll catch you in, in the, the next, next one. one thanks for watching